The Minister for the Illawarra, Greg Pearce, today unveiled an Australian first project with the hope it will encourage the use of sustainable technologies. It follows the release of a report showing Wollongong homeowners are lagging significantly behind the rest of the state when it comes to domestic solar installation. Solar energy is only used in 9% of homes across Wollongong. Mainly the cost. I don't think people realise how, how um, dramatically the cost has fallen now and so it is really, really affordable for most people. The typical fibro home creates 10% of the nation's greenhouse gas emissions. Built cheaply in the 1950s, less than 2% are replaced each year. A team of UOW and TAFE students have unveiled its replacement, a modern zero emission and livable home powered entirely by sunshine. We draw in air underneath those panels um, to heat and cool the home and during that process we also increase the efficiency of the solar panels. Solar adoption is predicted to boom as electricity prices skyrocket. Today the public toured the Illawarra Flame Tree House before it's dismantled for the solar decathlon in China. The key thing is for people to make their own commitment to recycling, to make their own commitment to lower usage of power, to um, ensuring that they have as little a footprint as possible. You take with you not just your country's best wishes, but all the ingredients of success. Ingenuity, skills, teamwork and an Australian determination to pitch in, to be a part of the solution when it comes to climate change. The retrofitted cottage will turn into a living laboratory at the Innovation Campus to test the performance of sustainable energies. Natasha Apolloni, Wynn News.